Hey guys, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com, and I'm going to give you a look at uh, Utter Voice Control, which is a app that's in beta right now, but is uh, quite interesting because it um, takes advantage of offline uh, voice uh, recognition that's included in Jelly Bean. Uh, with the latest update to Google Now, uh, the offline voice recognition that was once uh, reserved only for built-in Google applications can now be accessed by developers. So Utter is taking advantage of that to provide uh, voice control for your device, but also uh, let it happen offline and um, not just do it by communicating to the uh, regular voice recognition uh, servers that are off-site. So once you go in and download the uh, package, which most people might have already done if they want to do uh, voice recognition or voice typing with uh, the stock keyboard or anything like that, uh, it's about 20 megabytes, it's not very large for uh, one language. But once you do that, Utter will now let you uh, do all of these things without having to uh, phone home, so to speak. So, um, actually. Welcome to the beta version of we can go ahead and stop that for a second because we don't want to quite go there. But uh, if you go into the commands list, Utter can really do quite a crazy, uh, crazy number of things from um, your regular uh, Google voice search kind of things like the date and uh, weather and things like that. But also it can plug into other applications so you can um, update your Facebook status, you can tweet, check in on Foursquare. Um, toggle different things in the system like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, um, set alarms, um, translations, do web searches. So it's really a combination of what Google already does uh, with its own voice search um, and then some extra things on top of that. So the way you enable it here is you go ahead and turn it on and then you'll see a persistent notification at the top um, for Utter in your notification bar. So even uh, so anywhere in your uh, UI you can go and hit this and say something like I'm listening. What's the weather in Paris, France? In Paris, France, it's one degree Celsius. That's 34 degrees Fahrenheit and clear. So it'll give you a uh, voice reply. So you're not actually, uh, you're not even getting anything uh, to pop up on the screen, which is really nice for when you uh, really need hands-free uh, information and you you want to make the query uh, verbally but you also want to receive a, uh, a verbal response so you can also like I said do things like uh, toggle Wi-Fi and Bluetooth the same way how can I help you toggle Wi-Fi I've toggled Wi-Fi and it'll say that it's toggled Wi-Fi and uh, we'll see that Wi-Fi is now off so uh, it's really interesting because you can really get all of this stuff, uh, you're not giving up anything like you would normally uh, give up the regular Google Voice search because it's using the exact same uh, voice engine, but then at the same time you get all of the new features uh, or that they've uh, others chosen to integrate. So there's a crazy number of settings in here that you can go through that we really just don't have time to get through because there, it just it goes on and on because we can go in settings, you can change what the temperature units are going to be, what voice engine you use. It should be noted that you can use uh, English US or English uh, UK and then you can go through and choose whether or not to use uh, Google Synthesized Voice or you can choose to use um, other voice recognition uh, software as well. You know, some, some people just do better with certain uh, certain software or, or like the voices in certain softwares. So um, there's all kinds of things coming out and they're coming out um, in uh, waves because like I said Utter is still in beta but uh, we love the potential of it and we think that uh, it really could be something to keep an eye on um, as, for, as far as you know getting closer to having a lot of voice interaction with our devices. So anyways that's uh, your quick look at Utter Voice Control Beta.